Hi, this is Farhan and welcome back to another video. Well, there are a couple of things which makes an XRP investor really happy and that is first seeing that green percentage next to XRP crypto token and obviously getting some really good news and today we might have at least one of these and that is that we are hearing at least directly from the CEO of Ripple himself that XRP that Ripple could burn XRP. Now for those of you who have been in the world of crypto for quite some time you know what exactly what I'm talking about. Ripple burning XRP would massively and I mean massively impact the price of XRP in a positive direction. Now is this a positive direction for the long term? Well we are going to talk about it today as well but the immediate effect of this is going to be a price spike for xrp for the immediate term so this is what we'll be talking about today on what the ripple ceo said regarding uh, the burning of xrp and obviously we'll talk about how this might impact the future of xrp but first uh, let's start off with the price of xrp today and what the technical indicators are saying well the price of xrp at the time of making this video it is trading at around 1.07 1.08 dollars about the same as yesterday and about a 15% decrease from one week ago. So we are seeing that the price of XRP is currently on a downward trajectory. Now, a lot of people I'm looking at Twitter, Reddit, and a lot of my comment section, they're saying that, hey, this is a really good time to buy because we are currently in a dip for the price of XRP. Even now comparing this to the start of this month, the price of XRP is still above that. Let me just remind you guys. But if you're talking about, and if you guys have been following the analysis of the price of XRP, then you know the 20 day exponential moving average currently stands at $1.22 and the price of XRP has to stay above this to see a major rally. But unfortunately, that is not the case here as the price of XRP is below its 20-day exponential moving average. But if you're looking at the daily chart here, the daily chart uh, summary is at a sell position, moving averages at a neutral and technical indicators at a strong sell and obviously the RSI at a neutral. The weekly position, the summary is at a strong buy, both the moving averages and the technical indicators are saying strong buy and obviously RSI is saying at a buy. So for the weekly position, we are seeing that the XRP price is expected to do good. And for the monthly position, again, the summary here is at a strong buy and RSI is at a buy position. And if you guys have been following this, you know, uh, these are weekly and monthly position. They are indicating that the price of XRP is expected to do good. But for the daily position, the price of XRP is somewhat at a neutral position. Now let's talk about the burn of XRP. For those of you who don't know what this actually means, it basically means uh, Ripple removing the XRP it, uh, it has in its escrow. Currently, uh, Ripple has more than 55 billion XRP in its reserves in its escrow, which is a significant portion, pretty much more than 50% of the entire XRP in existence, which currently Ripple has. And this is, has become some of a, somewhat of a bone of contention between the crypto community and especially Ripple and XRP because they're saying, hey, this makes it somewhat centralized because Ripple controls such a large amount of XRP and they're saying that Ripple has the power to make or break the price of XRP. So this is one of those questions that there is asking, hey, will a Ripple burn XRP? This question was directly asked from the CEO of Ripple, Mr. Brad Garlinghouse, in a recent interview uh, with the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel, which I'll be linking in the description box below. He basically said that uh, he's always open to new ideas that are good for the XRP ecosystem and his specific words were I don't rule anything out and I think to the extent that there's things that make sense for XRP ecosystem then certainly Ripple would look at that and honestly I kind of didn't really expect him to say that and obviously he was not going to say yes or no uh, but he was the fact that he He's saying that, hey, if this is something good for the XRP ecosystem, this is something that they will definitely look at. And by look at, they can burn that XRP they have in escrow. Now, obviously, the immediate effect of this is going to be that massive price spike for XRP. In fact, burning of a specific crypto is not, it's not a new concept. We saw this very recently with BNB. Uh, and even before that, I think last year, XLM, I think a very large amount of XLM was burned by the Stellar Foundation, which immediately resulted in a massive uh, price spike for the price of XLM, which I think resulted more, the price of XLM increased by more than 100% within a very short span of time, within a day or two, I, I think after it was announced. So a lot of people are expecting that, hey, Ripple, can you basically burn XRP? Now, 
the answer to this is as you saw that if this is something that is going to help the XRP ecosystem, they might do that. But the impact of this is not just going to be the, for the short term, the impact of this is going to be for the long term. Now the price of XRP will shoot up uh, in the immediate effect, that will be the immediate effect. But for the long term, the escrow is very valuable to XRP as one Reddit user currently pointed out. The escrow makes XRP more, more valuable, not less. If XRPL network becomes premier intermediary for foreign exchange, the escrow would end up making Ripple the lender of last resort for the new private liquidity market. They would end up being able to offer some of the same services the Fed does to large institutions would make the XRPL network great for settlement of debt instruments and CBDCs. We want the escrow uh, XRP to enable higher functional financial use cases where Ripple needs to be a little like a traditional bank. Uh, those use cases aren't available without a large liquidity pool. And I think he's very correct in saying this because of Ripple, one of the, the very long-term goals of uh, Ripple, the company, is to use XRP as this uh, intermediary coin between all these central bank digital currencies. And having large amounts of XRP is actually very beneficial to that. But now talking about an immediate price point, Yes, burning the, uh, a large amounts of X, uh, XRP is going to create a uh, supply and demand uh, effect, which will result in the price of XRP increasing quite a lot. But for the long term, I think having the escrow would be very beneficial for the entire Ripple and XRP community. In fact, a statement regarding burning of XRP is not really new coming from Ripple. At the end of 2020, David Schwartz, who is the chief uh, technology officer of Ripple, he said that if the community wanted, if the network nodes, validators and community community could jointly decide to burn escrow coins by themselves, there would be nothing Ripple can do to stop them. He's saying that if the majority wants a rule change, there's nothing the minority can do to stop them. Basically, this is what the entire decentralized uh, option give, gives us here. Because if the community wants to burn XRP, there's nothing Ripple can stop uh, from them doing so. But the thing is, in fact, I made a video about this many months back last year and I talked about it. I, I saw a lot of people in the comment section saying that hey this is something that would be very happy if Ripple does decide to burn XRP but the community and I saw also a, another large percentage of community they were saying that hey this is not going to be good and a lot of validators uh, were saying that hey they do not want to burn XRP. So pause this video right now and uh, drop a comment below letting me know if you think burning of XRP would be good or bad for uh, the price of XRP. Obviously the immediate term would be uh, good but what about the long term so do uh, drop a comment for that now before ending the video i do want to remind you guys that there has been a massive update to this uh, ripple lawsuit and currently the ripple lawsuit is at a hinge point in which the implications of this could be massively and something that can impact the final verdict of this ripple lawsuit do check that video out it is a previous video i just made it yesterday and also you can, or either you can click it here well guys that was the video for today as always thank you for watching my videos and if you have any questions do drop a comment below because i do reply to quite a lot of uh, comments as well and if you're new to my channel consider subscribing giving this video a like and obviously turning on that bell icon so you do not miss any of my videos and again thank you for watching my videos i'll see you next time